But if you don't care about the characters, then it's not going to be a movie that you're going to come back to. So that, to me, I think is always the challenge in horror, like keeping it grounded and truthful within the craziness. Let's go. It's a 24-hour job. The hard part is already over. Hello. Hi, Melissa. Oh. Hi, Alicia. How are you guys? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> Great, thank you for having me. I love the movie. You guys nailed it. Alicia, <laughs> you as Abigail is amazing. And Melissa, you're one of my favorite screen queens. Oh, thank you. So, guys, for you, what makes Abigail different from the other vampire movies? Well, it's fresh. Um, I think it's very funny. And I think vampire movies are rarely like this this funny and the 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 balance of the tone between the horror and the comedy is really unique and special in this movie like it'll get you to laugh out loud equally as it'll make you jump in your seat which i think is really cool just a fresh take on a instead of you know like a a dracula like a man that's a vampire preying on on people it's a little girl so i think that that makes it so much scarier and more interesting. I, I think um, what makes it her different is, I, I think maybe because she's not just a vampire, she's a ballerina vampire, and I think that makes it freakier and more creepy. And <laughs> so no matter what she's doing, ballet was like incorporated into her character. So whether she was chasing or fighting or running, she was doing, she was pirouetting, she was leaping. She was doing it like she could do it in her sleep. And I think it made it, I made, the, it made the vampire creepier. Um, I think it made it like more scary. <laughs> and Alicia, did you have to, to, to learn ballet to the movie? I did. Um, I have experience in dance and um, I do it most days of the week and I do different genres of it so that definitely helped me but I'd never done ballet before and I'd never gone on point so um, getting the opportunity to learn how to do that and getting two to three months of rehearsals to you know prepare for the opening scene when I'm on point and you know strengthening my muscles and my legs and my feet and um, to prepare for that scene was so exciting because it was so new to me but I've always wanted to do I've always wanted to be able to go on point but I know it takes quite a long time so getting to do it in a movie um, was so exciting and I learned so much and I was so grateful that I got to do it myself. And Melissa, you become the biggest screen queen of our generation. <laughs> For you, what, what's the most fun part and the most challenging part on doing a horror movie? The most fun part, I think, is the gore. I think for me, like being covered in blood is super fun. Um, all like the chase sequences, the action sequences are super fun to do. I think the hardest part is probably for me to keep to keep it grounded because horror can sometimes go like really crazy and this movie goes really crazy so to me it was keeping like the emotional truth present and and being there as you know the core relationship the emotional relationship between abigail and joey that is kind of like the heart of the movie because I feel like there it's possible in horror movies and in so many movies, action movies as well, where you don't really care about the characters. You're just there to watch the action and, and the kills and all of that. But if you don't care about the characters, then it's not going to be a movie that you're going to come back to. So that, to me, I think is always the challenge in horror, like keeping it grounded and truthful within the craziness. And what are your favorite scary movies? Um, my favorite scary movie is The Black Phone. Um, that's me and my sister's favorite horror movie. We always watch it. It's one of those movies that I can, although it's a horror movie, I can just watch it on repeat. I've seen many, um, but I think that's my favorite. Um, I really love Hereditary. It probably has one of the most, one of the scariest scenes ever that will forever give me nightmares. <laughs> There's also a movie called Border that I'm a big fan of. You know it? Ali Abbasi? No, it. Oh, it's so yeah. good. I don't know if that's like a true horror movie, but it's it's 
pretty horrible, you know? Like, it's so, so crazy that it's scary to me. I don't know if it would be, for a lot of people, considered horror. Um, and I also really love, like, Black Swan. Elevated horror is my thing, I think. I love Black Swan. Girls, Yeah. thank you very much. I love the movie. Thank Thank you. you. This is from Brazil. Brazil Thank loves you, girls. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.